I'm Mario Grigua from the Liège University, and with this talk, we would like to engage the community towards the building of a global ocean oxygen database and atlas, GODAT, for assessing and predicting deoxygenation and ocean health in the open and coastal ocean. The main points that are covered by this talk are what's GODAT, why GODAT is needed, why GODAT is so tiny, and how to build GODAT. This presentation is based on a review paper that has been recently published in Frontiers, and I invite you to refer to that paper if you want to have more details about what will be presented today. So first, what's GODAT? So what's GODAT? In a few words, GODAT will integrate oxygen data from the global, regional, and coastal ocean from Aurelian and Lagrangian platforms. GODAT will have some standards that include community-approved metadata specification and the use of a consistent, transparent quality check and flagging. It will be also aligned with the FAIR principles. GODAT will deliver products which will be in the form of reddit fields and indicators of ocean health and climate for the open and global coastal ocean. So the GODAT concept is presented in that slide. So GODAT would be uh, an oxygen GDAC. It will interact with IODE and with, with its components and we'll give more detail later. And it will also interact with a diversity of users via a web portal. GODAT will include oxygen dataset and also products for the coastal open ocean and using transparent quality check and flagging. For the products, GODAT will deliver several levels of products that are represented here. That would be gridded field, gridded climatology that will incorporate first Winkler, then Winkler plus CTD, Winkler plus CTD and Argo, and then Winkler, CTD, Argo and Glider, etc. And at the end, we will also have mooring, emergent observing system, and also the Baltic at the last step. Why do we need GODAT? We need GODAT because high quality data with a sufficient coverage are needed for the monitoring of ocean deoxygenation. This map shows you the distribution of all oxygen areas in the coastal, in red, and in the open ocean, in blue. You can see that uh, the number of coastal sites where hypoxia have been recorded amount to more or less 500 sites, while for the open ocean, this number amount to several millions of cubic kilometers. We know that the ocean is losing oxygen since the mid of the last century. However, what we do not know is how much is lost. For instance, here on this figure, we have represented the decrease in the global ocean oxygen content in percentage as estimated from the different models, that's the different colors, and from observation. This analysis show that the estimation of the deoxygenation varies according to the data set that you are using. It varies between more or less 0.6% if we speak about the model to 2% if we speak about last estimation from the observation. We have this uncertainty because so far there is no single entry point where you can download the oxygen data. You need to go to different database, to different uh, data assembly centers. And in the top of that, the procedure that I use for making the quality control and the quality flagging and also for making interpolation differs according to the database and according to the users. For instance, here we have uh, represented the different quality control levels that are performed in the World Ocean Database. And so you can see that this quality check goes from basic check to more elaborated secondary quality control and adjustment. And this quality control and adjustment differs according to the database, and sometimes they are not very well documented, so that the user do not know exactly what have been changed compared to the raw data. So why GoDAT is so timely? No, because we have a change of paradigm in our capacity to observe oxygen. These two maps represent the coverage of Winkler data uh, during the last century, and this one 
cover or represent the abundance of sensor data. If we integrate all this data spatially, we have this graph that represents the evolution according to year of the number of profiles that have been collected by Winkler in red and by automatic platform that have sensor in the other colors. And you can see that the abundance of Winkler data since the 19th century is more or less equivalent to the abundance of sensor data over the last 10 years. This is an important change. However, so far, the sensor data are not really integrated in current climatologies. Why? Because the quality of this data is not adequate to tackle some scientific question. And so here we have represented on the left some scientific question with an estimation of the level of accuracy of quality that you need to have for the data in order to answer the scientific question. And on the right, we have represented the quality of sensor data according to the type of calibration and calculation methods that you are using. And so you can see that the uncertainty changes a lot according to these calculation methods. And so the idea in Godat would be to add a column, which would be the quality flagging. And this quality flagging can reflect the scientific question that your data with the level of uncertainty can answer. How to build Godat? This figure proposes a data flow for the building of Godat. Godat will rely on strong interaction with IODE and via IODE with National Oceanographic Data Center, with regional hubs, and also with GDAC like Argo, Gliders, Ocean Sites, and Goshi. In consultation with all these actors, common best practice metadata structure and quality check and flagging procedure will be proposed and will be transmitted to the user via the Ocean Teacher program. The submission system of data would be twofold. We will have one centralized via the GDAC, or there is one bottom up with a submission, direct submission to NODC. There are, there are also the possibility to go to alternative submission, but in that case, what is important is that the data that are not directly submitted to NODC flow back to NODC for receiving a data identifier and is that all the modification of data or the adjustment of data has to be well documented and has to be trustable. Then I would like to inform you that Godet has been submitted as a project in the frame of the UN Decade Call for Project under the umbrella of the Global Ocean Oxygen Decade Programme. Thanks so much for your attention.